Hello everyone, it's me, Princess Peach, and today we are going to be baking a cake. Um, you might be thinking, Princess Peach, this doesn't look like the royal kitchens. Um, no, they're getting renovated right now. So, I am here in Mario's apartment. <laughs> um, so that's where we're going to be making this cake today. First things first, we're going to preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Buenísimo. Next step is going to be greasing a 9 inch loaf pan. There are jokes that could be made about 9 inches, however I am a princess, so I won't make them. I'm going to clip back my hair because food safety is sexy and not getting hair in your shit is good. To start, we're going to put two and a half to three cups of flour into the big bowl. This is a half cup because that's all I could find. Normally you would measure with the back of a knife like a real person. Um, I'm a princess, not a person. Next is one cup of white sugar. said two cup and I'm like no. Next is one tablespoon of baking powder. I can only find a teaspoon here in Mario's apartment. So we will do instead three teaspoons to make one tablespoon. There's a specific way to measure a pinch in your hand. Um, and the answer is by eyeballing. <laughs> That's probably about two pinches. How much is it? That much. Thank you. The oven agrees. Throw some over your shoulder for good luck or whatever. We are going to do three eggs into this bowl. Um, if I were cool, I would crack it with one hand. I'm too cool. So I'll crack it on the edge of my counter. The way that will guarantee the most shells. Um, this one. Two. Three? Can I, can I get a third? Can I? Oh my god. Why was this egg almost stronger than me? Embarrassing. Um, always wash your hands after handling raw eggs. Next, three quarters of a cup of milk from an individual toad-sized bottle. Uh, where's three quarters? This is where I'm going to diverge from the recipe a little bit. So, Mario does not have a stand mixer. In fact, he does not have an electric mixer of any sort. So we are going to be whisking everything by hand. So we're going to break up these egg yolks before adding in the other liquids to make sure that everything has the yolks and to mix it slightly away from your dress um, because you are, once again, a princess. This is a cake fit for a princess. Another thing, fun thing about whisking 
by hand is you want to make sure that you get enough aeration bubbles in your batter. There will eventually be a point where the bubbles start popping and they don't reform. So you want to be careful. Three quarters of a cup of milk, which we've already measured. So she goes in. That bowl will be fine. And then we will measure out three quarters of a cup of vegetable oil. Mine is canola. Then we'll do a little mixy mix here. We're not done, but it's always nice to start to incorporate things at every level or at each step. So then we add the milk to the eggs and the oil. take this opportunity to add one tablespoon of vanilla extract. Same as before, three teaspoons equal one tablespoon. One. Two. Three. And a half. Vanilla extract is powerful. Um, don't underestimate it. However, um, measure with your heart. And then we're going to take this opportunity to mix this all together. And this is the stage where you want to try and get air bubbles into this because that helps make your cake light and fluffy. You will also do this while adding it to your flour. So you don't need to feel like this needs to be the bubbliest thing in the world. You are going to need more bubbles as you incorporate it into here. This now looks well mixed together. And so I'm going to make sure, even though my whisk is still wet, that's okay. We're about to add the wets into the dries. So I'm going to take this moment, get my sugar and my flour and my baking powder and my salt all mixed together. And if you make a little bit of a mess, that's okay. Okay, these are all now mixed. Do not add all of your wets to all of your dries at the same time. It will create a mess and it will be very hard to mix. Add in a little bit at a time. So we are going to add a decent amount and then we're going to set this down as we start to incorporate all of this together. And sometimes you realize a whisk is a mistake, um, but that's okay. You add more of your wets. You realize the whisk is a dire mistake, actually. My hands are clean because I washed them. I'm going to do something maybe a little bit stupid, but that I think will make my life easier. I'm gonna mix it using a fork for at least a moment. Okay, this is starting to come together.
if your batter is too sticky, like not wet enough, add a splash of milk. Or two splashes. Watch out. This is approximately the consistency I think I want. <laughs> Glory. Princess Peach, did you mix this with a plastic children's fork? Yeah, I did. Fight me about it. You'll lose, just like Bowser. We have our cake in our pan. Um, if you have any small toads um, that you don't care if they get salmonella, they can lick the bowl. You shouldn't do that, though. They might get salmonella. Does salmonella te affect toads? Probably. Next, we put said cake in said oven. Be careful, the oven's hot. Do so carefully. Now it is in the oven. We're going to want to set a timer for about one hour. You can put it oven, on a phone, on a computer, whatever works for you. Clean up your workspace. It'll make everything easier and then you can enjoy your cake sooner when it's done. Once you have cleaned your workspace, you can do whatever for approximately an hour until your cake is baked. You could write a poem. You could sing to some toads. You could read a book. Hey Mario, can I play Fortnite? Good morning, it is the next day. The cake has cooled, so it's time to get decorating. Let's go. <laughs> Good morning, it's voiceover Peach. I truly had just woken up when I recorded this section of the video. So I sort of went you get cake decorating or funny voiceover. So yesterday was about cake decorating. Now I'm about funny voiceover. First thing I'm doing is taking off the sort of rounded top of the cake just to give myself a flat surface to work with. Um, and uh, those cake scraps are actually called princess breakfast uh, so that you don't have to worry about getting breakfast. Next, I am just sort of starting with a base layer of white frosting across the top. Uh, at some point in here, I was like, hmm, am I doing this right? I don't know. Um, but it turns out all right in the end, and that's what matters. Um, since I'm not using an actual, like, cake tray, um, it means that I am working with what I got in terms of just spinning a plate around, but it works out okay in the end. Um, there we go. Getting, getting it. I started getting the hang of it also as we got a little bit further along, which was real nice. Um, look at that. Look at that technique. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Rounding off the corners. Oh, showing it off. Beautiful. Moving a little bit closer as we go in with the pink. These get way better um, as I uh, realize what the hell I'm doing. Um, but I decided I was originally going to go with sort of like a, a banner like, you know, swoopies along the side. Um, and then I decided, nah, I think that little spikes along the edge, that's more fun. So really doing two hands was the key element here to make it actually look good. So. Just putting those spikies on. Yes, I'm drinking tea. Look at all those spikes. Then we're going in with some pink glittery sugar to just cover the top really sell that it's pink and it is princess peaches and then to establish dominance 
I also decided to go in and put a big old P right on the middle just to again assert that this is my cake made by me, Princess Peach. We have it, a beautiful P for Princess Peach with pink glitter sugar and some pink decorating frosting. Beautiful, beautiful. Brings us to the end of the baking video. I hope you all had fun. I most certainly did. I want to give a huge, huge shout out to everybody who donated during the Infinity Break Wathon uh, back in February. The real reason this video came to fruition um, is because of the generosity of those fine, fine folks. So if you're not aware of Infinity Break already, um, definitely I will throw, that'll be the top link in the description. Um, if you want to follow the recipe that I followed, I will also throw that in the description. Um, I would say like and subscribe for more, but I don't know if I'll do this again. Maybe if people demand it, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day, wherever you are. Um, and 